Next step is to degrease it to make sure the emulsion sticks properly. Let's get washing. When she squeaks on the finger drag, she's ready. So now let's go dry out the, the frame and the screen. All right, so drying the screen. We're gonna blow dry everything with the air compressor, just to make sure there's no uh, sediments or anything that could have came through with water. We're gonna make sure it's all out of there. So then we'll have a perfectly clean screen um, ready for drying and ready for emulsion to be applied. Before we do that, we have some special visitors. They're very small, very hairy. See how close we can get to them. Hello. Hello, that. Look at that cute little thing. He's running away. Well, thanks for the visit. Back to our business. So one of the most important thing to do with a wooden frame, after washing it, um, wood tends to kind of want to twist and shout. The best thing to do to try to keep a flat screen, you're going to want to find a flat surface. Sorry mom for stealing your table. Maybe your sister, your aunt, your uncle dead baby just put something heavy on there so it is forced to stay flat when it dries because you don't want to be printing with a twisted frame it's not real fun i've done it before it's uh it's a real challenge all right so sun's gone down moon's coming up our screen's all dry and we're about to apply the emulsion now we're gonna take this and go into my hobbit hole Alright, 
So welcome to my red room. Um, we're going to be using a photo emulsion, which says it in the name. It is photosensitive, so it reacts to UV rays. So any light other than red, or I believe there's other colors that that block UV rays, will prematurely cook the coating, which we don't want. So with the stuff that we're going to be using, we have to work kind of fast, but photo emulsion. This is the stuff I'm using, ProChem HXT. Um, I've used other ones before, but they would give me a whole lot of trouble. And this isn't stuff that's really fun to have trouble with, because if at this step it messes up, it's a big process to restart and so to spread emulsion normally people buy these but um like i said in the prior video i'm way too cheap to buy stuff so i just built this at one point in its life it used to be a uh, this was a body panel off of an old lawn tractor but now it's my perfectly finely working emulsion scoop. So basically how this goes is we'll have emulsion in here and then we'll tilt our screen and slide it up on there and get one nice coat on each side. The screen will be drying for another about 12 to 24 hours and then it'll be time to burn it. We're gonna give it a little stir I don't know what color you guys are seeing this right now. Leave it in the comments down below, but you'll see later on. If you see it as purple now, it is not purple. So now let's try to pour this without making a mess. And we're making a mess. And I don't even have a rag. Time to run out of here real fast and try to go get a rag. <clears throat> See, it's blue, not purple. I suggest you probably should put gloves working with this. Now let's get some coatings on there. coat on this side we flip it over now we have one nice coat on this side too Like I said before, you should probably wear a glove if you're going to hand handle the the emulsion. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And back in a cold corner she goes. So when you put a screen to dry, you're always gonna want to put the the printing side facing down. So we want the the liquid as it dries up to be able to droop down and lay a thickness on the side that we're not gonna squeeze on. When it dries, if any imperfections or like extra emulsion is left on there, it will drip on the downside and the squeegee side is still gonna be smooth and you're not gonna get um a lumpy finish in your print. So now we let it dry for about 12 to 24 hours. If you're not going to use it and you're just preparing a screen, you can leave it up to like a month. Um, but yeah, we're going to be 
getting this one burnt tomorrow and I'll get back to you guys when we're doing that all right so we're about 15 hours later we're gonna head back into the hobbit hole and we're gonna check our screen see if it's dry I don't know if you can hear that there's no stickiness to it I'd say it's pretty well dry now we're gonna go set up our makeshift exposure unit. So a lot of screen printers have very expensive exposure unit and they'll pay thousands of dollars for them. And I understand why. They are very precise and they work very good. But there's always a cheaper version. And this is our cheaper version. I think this is like 500 watt lamp. And we are going to install it. Supposedly it's supposed to be like around maybe like 30 to 40 inches. So the next step is going to be to get our transparencies, our logos, put them on the screen. And then we're going to bring the screen out here, put it under the light, plug it in and let it burn for about 24 minutes. My printer is a real cheap printer, so all this has to be sharpied over to make it darker. It has to be as dark as possible so the light doesn't shine through where your logo is. So we're going to need some tape also to tape the to tape the transparencies down so they don't move or lift while we burn the screen. And now we're back in the hobbit hole. Since it's on the printing side of the screen, you have to put your logo backwards. So like here you could read it normally, but that's not how you want it. You want it reversed. Now we're going to take some clear tape. Make sure your tape is clear. If you use anything that's not clear, it's going to wash out under it after. And you want to make sure the center is not like lifted or twisted or nothing are any of you guys trying to get into screen printing on a budget like this let me know in the comments and let me know if this helps any all right so that's our screen and our logo all taped up you can see there's no lift everything is well stuck on there so it shouldn't move in the burning process Put it under our light. Uh, oh, try to center our light. Good enough. Before plugging it in, we're gonna set up a timer. Look at that, already set up. So I've had good luck at 24 minutes. Some emulsion might take different times and the light source is gonna affect your burning time as well. So if you're trying to get into it, um, you're gonna have to experiment a little bit and mess a couple of screens up and wash them out and restart and it'll be fine. Now we plug this in, start the timer. So I've had emulsions before that actually changed colors while they were burning. So it was kind of easier to tell. All right, timer's about done. Screen's about burnt. Turn off our light. And it's time to go wash the screen. So you're not gonna wanna use too hot of water when you wash the pattern out because it's not fully cured yet. So now we start running some water on it.
There's our screen. It's all washed out. I don't know if you guys can see the details in there. Came out pretty good. So now, just like last time we washed it, we are going to go blow dry it. Make sure there's no sediments that stuck on it from the water. And then we'll put some weights on it and let it dry outside. All right, we're back in the garage and the screen is ready to be dried. Washed out real good. I'm real satisfied with the details that came out of it. Did you think it was going to turn out this good? Let me know. Oh, and here's the thing. I said when we were burning it, we were putting the logo upside down on the printing side because this is how it's going to look when it's going to sit on the shirt itself. Oh, and you're not going to want to use too much air pressure on this just because like I said it's not fully cured yet so you're going to want to go easy on it for now and then put it out in the sun or under the light again to fully cure it let's dry it So even sometimes when it's not fully washed out properly, if you get the air and you get real close to it, you can clean some of it out. And we're going to call this good. Now let's go put some weights on the frame and let it dry in the sun. Back to the table. Going to put our good old rusty weights on there. And this frame really is thick enough that it should not twist but I've made screens before with like half the thickness of this and those were twisting every time so if you have a thick screen you probably don't have to put weights on it I'm just doing it in case um, but if you have a thin screen made out of real thin wood um, you're probably gonna wanna do this every time so yeah now we're gonna let it dry and this is gonna be it for this video and then in the next video we are going to try and print this logo on a shirt or two and the challenge is going to be to line up these two logos we're gonna try to go black on this one and then yellow on this one and the thing is, we're going to have to use both sides of the screen on one shirt at a time and line it up by eye. So this is going to be an experimentation of just eyeballing the alignment of a two color print. So uh, stick around if you want to see that. Hit that subscribe button. Like if you enjoyed this video of emulsionizing the screen and burning it and thanks for watching see you guys next time